Hello and welcome to RA Pace Factorio C block. This is episode 173. And we've basically set up our whole uh, new system uh, and we're we're going to scale up as needed on the ores that we need it on. And aluminum is still like a number one priority. Uh, so let's Let's check out how the, that's going. Like we we massively increased our jibalite chunk production. Um, we are gonna have a bunch of fluoride ore, so I hope we get a use for that. Um, let's see if the other one is already the bottleneck. Let's see. Yeah, looks like uh, it's fluoride ore now. So uh, let's let's in increase that a little bit as well. Um, how are we? Like, uh, let's let's grab some uh, concrete bricks and stuff to be able to craft some higher level flotation cells. Um, I guess we also let's craft a little bit of belt. Can't hurt. Yeah, we're we're seeing stuff coming down the pipe. That's good. Basically, if we manage to get like full belt with this stuff, then we're, we're in a good place. Um, I also might want to check like the fact that I guess like these these are low because we're we're using a lot of them. But I don't know why the whole yeah okay so the the zinc ore is backing up. It's really at this point it's only the aluminum ore that's that's uh, and we do notice that the actually the. The iron ore. Oh, this is the wrong way around. That's problematic. Though, yeah, luckily, didn't actually cause any problems. So that's that's sweet. Yeah, it's actually yeah, these are moving at at a okay speed, but I guess we didn't set input priorities at the end. Maybe we should. Let's just double check. Yeah, we didn't. Let's uh, set input priority rights over here. And same for you guys, input priority rights. Yeah, we did do that for these guys. So that's that's gonna help a lot uh, in actually uh, like stopping this flow for a bit. And that, that might actually help in, in getting enough down there. Okay, so, but I'm here to gather some concrete bricks. Yeah. Uh, let's see. It's gonna be okay. Do we need some ferry some stuff over? Cement, right? I happen don't happen to have any with me. That's a shame. We can drop a couple aluminum ores in the, in this guy. Okay, so let's see how many rotation cells we can make. Two, one. Uh, let's see. We gotta grab some aluminum plates. Let's do that. We have a little bit of a backlog here, right? Yeah. Let's let's grab. Yeah, let's grab one stack. Oh, it shows the new recipes that we got. That's that's pretty nice. Oh, and we have some some aluminum going over here, so that's nice. Like there is still. Yeah, it's it's still coming, but just just slowly, just slowly. That's okay. Um, yep. So in order to get more of these, we need uh, red circuits, right? Yeah. So I did it, end up setting up a small backlog for that, and I think I should like just just uh, it's it's gonna be kind of painful because the whole process is bottlenecked on on these guys now. But yeah, I I am gonna set up just a small like one. Uh, one stack backlog um, because they're they're just too important to for crafting machines. Like crafting machines should generally take priority. Ooh, we should ferry this over. That's that's if that backlogs, that's gonna be kind of annoying. Ooh, actually, we could. Eh, it's still a little bit far, but. What we should be doing is ferrying it down there and making sure it, it ends up like on the belt over here with priority. That, that would be the best. 
But for now, I'm okay just walking it over just because it could be problematic otherwise. So basically everything now is geared towards producing aluminum and that that is the strength of this this paradigm right the fact that uh, these backlogs are now sort of subsidizing the production of the one thing we need and we can semi freely um, get get the things that were were lacking um we're gonna grab some of the the red circuits hopefully from a backlog that's somewhere crossing my fingers if not we're we're gonna have to wait for production um like over here these guys are doing okay but yeah it's basically yeah we're, we're gonna have to grab these these couple circuits grabbing a little copper is also okay Where's the rest? Let's hope we can find a little bit up there. Uh, just a little bit. How's blue circuits doing? We're still like, I guess. So I am gonna just limit this. Like, uh, we might need them at some point, but for now, I think we're good. So at least we can make two lead, uh, two flotation cells. Yeah, then we have three flotation cells too, right? That that should be good to scale up what we need. Uh, let's build a small shortcut over here, courtesy of the former Worms Island. Okay, so we need rubite, right? So let's let's make that happen. Uh, flotation cell one. Yep, like this, and then three. Yeah, good stuff. Got that in here. Uh, we're gonna have you guys go up here. Yeah, we can fully put that into nitric acid, and it's not a problem. Yep, that's that's sweet. And like we, we're gonna have some backlog issues at some point, but for now, or yeah, it, it is backlog issues. Like we, we're gonna have to uh, buffer some of the fluids, or or vent them, or both, probably both. And let's see. Okay, so this is actually I am building these additionally, but the actual problem is. Uh, so we can actually bring this up here but the actual problem is not these guys but it's getting the crushed through right in the first place uh, so let's uh, set an offset and let's make some uh, ore crushers if for a crusher yeah, we can make some crushers too that should be good right that's what we need for the rubite crushed rubites Maybe some crystallizers. Let's see. Depending on what we what we need. Yeah, both probably. Let's start with a couple crystallizers. We have those, so that's good. Um, let's do. Uh, Let's add a uh, add in three. It should be fine. And power those up. And then we can go like this. And have some offsets. Yeah, there we go. Do it. And this is gonna gonna increase productivity for for these guys by a lot. The copper is still moving, looks like, or is it, or is that the iron? Like the iron could be more moving because of the ferric chloride, but so I think that that's more likely. And there, it 
looks like there's another one that's empty, right? What's supposed to go along with silicon? Oh, no, okay, that's, that's just slowly backing up. That's fine. So this looks better. Uh, oh, these are all crystallizers one. So let's uh, let's add another one then. So the problem is that we we're gonna be a little slow on the uptake with respect to what we actually need to scale, but we do have a lot of the machines that we're gonna need already ready to roll and. Like, if we look at this, like the the aluminum flow is actually okay. Like, it could be like if we if we go back down. Like we we could actually already be backing up. Let's let's look at that. Yeah, this is looking okay. We're not quite backing up, but the the flow is okay. It's just that we are also. I ate some for crafting machines and that's that's still limiting us as well. But this this is actually going quite well. Um, I probably want to add an, a secondary ore processor. Why are these windmills not doing anything? Like they do still exist, right? How's power usage going? Large solar panels, yeah, okay, so the, the solar panels are covering our electricity usage. So that's, on the one hand, good news. On the other hand, it's kind of whack-ass because I was ex we would be expecting a lot more production. But why that is, is because we're working through our backlogs. Like, a lot of the ore production machines that we had are no longer, just no longer working. Okay. Advanced manganese. Let's see. What else do we want? I think we can just get some robot stuff. Actually, just just prepare for that. Like it's it's uh, there are gonna be nice upgrades. And yeah. Okay. So this is starting to back up. So I think what we want to do is move this chest over to this side. Um. I. I guess we need the alumina for if we want to be crafting um, the special thingies, right? The the filter frames. Can we do this by hand? We can. Okay, that's good. So we want to have another powder mixer, probably. Is that no? That's not this one. It's probably over here. Yeah, let's uh, let's get two Mark twos. That may be a little bit overkill, but we're, yeah, I'm good with that, actually. Powder Mixer Mark II. And then put down another one. Yeah. So, let's run that. We probably, we might want to do a little bit of yellow belt somewhere. Um, and copy this recipe. So... And then I guess we'll want to do our processor to... Okay, let's go. Yeah, actually, we're, I mean, we're fine with respect to the aluminum ore coming in. So I'm not too worried, but uh, yeah, maybe let's check that out, how that's going. Uh, yeah, our, our upstream stuff is still really dependent on the aluminum flow. But let's let's just investigate like if, if we're, we're if m it might be the jivalite again like that we need to scale up this part for the jivalite this is looking okay let's check out i do i i i'm going a little bit overboard on on verifying that the bottlenecks are what I think they are, but I'm doing that for good reason. Basically, I want to make sure that that we're not sort of preemptively going for stuff that is unnecessary or or basically yeah doesn't doesn't contribute to our our immediate goals. Let's see. So for 
do we need yeah we're waiting for the rubai chunks which is kind of weird we scaled that up pretty well i i would say so yeah let's maybe i didn't wait long enough but let's let's just double check if everything's okay over there yeah okay so here we have increased production actually so it it is just a little bit slow on the on the uptake which with respect to like increased production in the ores coming through and the rest like the the belts are really really slow the machines add some delay so it's actually just yeah basically we can't really see like how how it affects it until after a bit i guess that's fine but i am gonna let's let's scale up the stuff that we see is lacking basically right that's that's another way to go about it and like if it's not backlogged then it's not enough that's the other approach we can take and i think that makes a lot of sense so let's let's go ahead and do that right so we we observe that like we know the jiv light is going to be the other other issue so let's start by setting up a little bit more jiv light One, two, three, four, five. Yep, like this, right? Uh, one, two, three, four. Uh, you guys, and actually, I so alternatively, I could take some time to um, to maybe. Oh, and actually, what we also could be doing is placing like overflow valves at certain points. To make sure that it's oh wait so if we would do an overflow valve every every machine would that work i think it would actually that would be pretty sweet because what would happen is first the first sort of trunk would fill up to 80 percent and then we're sorting sort of relying on on that being sort of stable but if it is stable then then it will flow on through the second machine etc etc so that would be kind of kind of neat like i think we could make that work Set some offsets over here. One, two. Increase that a little bit. And this is still backlogged, so I'm not too worried about that. But I think yeah, we can we can add in a little bit more stereotype. Yeah. So what we could be doing, and maybe should be doing actually, with um, so what we instead could be doing with the mineralized water like it's it looks like we're actually getting a lot extra so i i'm just gonna set up a crystallization into sephirite and and stereotypes like it's it's free ores why not and apparently we're not doing anything else with it so yeah i mean like is the recipe that much longer now it's two seconds crafting time yeah i'm 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 gonna go ahead and do that i'm just gonna well i i'll first set it up and then yeah basically let's see let's let's just set it up over here and then we'll we'll bring it up on a belt that seems totally it's totally legit right so crystallizer like this you're gonna do this uh, we'll bring you like over here it's i don't quite quite understand it but uh yeah, we'll, we will need a, an overflow valve in there um but basically yeah if we can eat the overflow mineralized water or this then yeah i'm it's it's at least better than 
then crystallizing it basically or then then emptying it no, we're gonna need some more more belt but i am i am gonna go ahead and remove the clarifier that we put down somewhere let's see should be this one probably yeah is it running even yeah it is running okay goodbye How's this stuff? This is all. This is all still pretty. Yeah, the mineral sludge is all. all or rather, yeah, it's. Uh, we're actually we're getting most of our mineral sludge from here. So that's that's basically the issue, right? So. Okay, so what we could do is. Yeah, no, I I think this is fine. It's just that we we actually would need to. Fix this up probably like this needs a little bit of help but other than that like i think we're okay on that front how's our chris yeah this scoring gas how's our crystalline yeah our crystal seedling is okay basically once some of this stuff ramps up this this problem will solve itself but for now it's a little bit iffy because normally we we just balance it out but for now like this is this is how we're, we're gonna be doing it, I guess. Yeah, basically, yeah, uh, yeah, this seems fine. And let's go. So we're gonna, oh, no, we wanna uh, make sure it gets in here. So um, we're gonna go like this. We're gonna uh, set an output priority to right with filter for uh, stereotypes. Or wait, is that not in here? No, separate set. It's probably here then. Here, here. No, it's not in here. This is all crushed. Wait, what? Crushed. Oh wait, yeah, it's uh, it, it is over here. Okay, so I guess we'll do it like this and. Yeah, we're side loading that but we're that's fine yeah let's uh, make sure we're gonna get that yeah so here i do wanna maybe set up a little bit of a priority setup so we're gonna go like this we're gonna go you guys then like this and then uh, input priority on the left and then the only issue is that this guy is outputting on that side but and i apparently i forgot to set this recipe so that that should also help like the fact that we're consuming more will help with that side okay yeah, let's see so how's like Basically, yeah, this this it won't trigger a lot, but when it triggers, it will be fine. Except we're gonna get this piled up, so maybe we do wanna do a little setup here, uh, like this. So basic splitter input priority on the left. Um, work around this. We're gonna get an offset to this side. We're gonna place an extra pole here, and then you are gonna go. I guess we can just like it. It just the input priority matters, so it doesn't matter like how it comes in. It matters that we take it from this side if we have it. So that's fine. Yeah, this this should help. Or yeah. It should help, I guess. Uh, we're backing up on... Yeah, let's make this a little bit more of a beefier machine. Yeah, let's do, do an assembler free. Why not? Like, um, Actually, we probably want to have some more input arms as well. Maybe three. Yeah, that's good. And let's have you... 
okay, it, the, the issue was actually the input arms, not the, the speed of the machine, but that's fine. Okay, so this should be better now. We have a lot more input over here. Let's see, yeah. We're, we were also like a little bit leaning on backlogs of the ore intermediate products over here. So the fact that this is now sort of going should help us with uh, production over here. Let's see how we're going. The, these chunks are looking kind of okay. Um, so let's look at, at aluminum ore production. How's that going? T should be somewhere, no, not this one. This is, yeah, this is silicon ore. Here we're at the aluminum ore, right? And this is yeah, basically what's the is it is it an it's it's sort of an input to ore issue. So let's uh, add another inserter just to make sure we can keep up. But yeah, this and and actually an output issue as well. So let's output to two sides. And this should give us a solid stream of of aluminum. So if this is not enough, then we're we're also kind of screwed. But yeah, I think like, then we might need to to upgrade a bunch of the belts and such. But for now, I think we're we're good. We also want to keep an eye on like which backlogs are decreasing. If there's any stuff, yeah, basically. Once this this aluminum comes uh, knocking, then we're we're good. Yeah. Do we have anything else? So we have the nickel, which doesn't seem to be piling up too hard. But yeah, there we there we are. It it is it is really coming along. So that's that's good. Yeah, and. I guess as long as this is fine, then no, I'm not worrying about like the wastewater could still be an issue, but for now, like we're gonna get a new good uh, good flow of of landfill coming from here. We can clean up a bunch of this in a later episode. Let's see how we're we're doing on like actually eating the ores. Yeah, we probably want another ore processor, right? Let's let's put that down. Can't hurt. And then maybe yeah, we might we need to upgrade some of that. Uh, let's see, uh, ore processor like this, uh, like this. Set this up. And you get to you get to drop over here, and then we don't need to care about stuff not making sense. Yeah, we're we're getting a decent flow of uh, of aluminium ore right here. So that should that should improve some. Let's see, do we need? I guess we can add another inserter to make this throughput a little bit better. Yeah, so here we're, we're like, this is not quite quite the most the tightest flow we're gonna get, but it's right. It's it's gonna get a little bit better still, but this is pretty okay. Let's see. As long as we can process everything, we should be good. And it is gonna, it's gonna get a decent amount. Okay, and uh, let's cut this episode here. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. If you enjoyed this video, please consider liking and subscribing. It helps people like you find it too. Thanks.